Hello everybody welcome to today's video. In this video we will learn the basics of construction industry. From basic building construction to skyscraper construction. Come let's get into the video. We will see the following topics in detail. Basics of building construction and Latest advancements of construction industry Construction comprises of two phases. Phase 1 involves pre-construction steps. Phase 2 involves building construction steps. The pre-construction stage consists of four steps. Firstly one has to search for the location for the building which is best suited for building construction purposes. It is suggested that do prior data collection before buying land. The next step is to seek technical help. After selecting proper land for building, take the help of a professional architect to create building designs and take their advice. An architect prepare plan is per building requirement. Then after architect consult with a structural engineer for details of the reinforcements to be used. How deep your foundation will be, the size of gravel to be used, pillar width. The third step is to prepare estimate and budget. Building construction involves a huge amount of material and budget. After, planning and structural detailing completed these details are transferred to the building estimator. The building estimator will estimate the material quantity, quantity of different items of work, and prepare an abstract sheet that shows the cost of building construction. The last step in pre-construction is to get permission from authorities. We have to take permission from the local municipal body before you could go for the construction. The list of documents to be submitted to the authority are land survey, soil test report, land documents, elevation drawing, structural report and certificate of the civil engineer. The following are the building construction steps for any type of construction. The construction site must be cleaned before the work is executed. This work involves the removal of roots of trees, debris and leveling ground area. This is the first and one of the most important step in building construction. The foundation of building ground is excavated with the help of excavating machines. As per the building dimension specified in drawings. In this foundation trench, a layer of plain cement concrete is laid in the dug portion before placing the reinforcements for the foundation. The building is supported on the foundation is the lowermost part of the building that is in contact with the soil. After the PCC work foundation reinforcement work is started. The foundation is a vital part in construction as it withstands the entire load of the building. After the foundation work is done ground beam formwork preparation is started and poured with concrete. Over the plinth beam, masonry work is started and space between foundation and plinth beam filled with soil. The superstructure is the portion above the plinth level of the building. The main component of the superstructure is a column and beam. The columns are built up to slab level. And the frame for further construction is prepared. As column and beam framework completed masonry work is started with different materials. Such as bricks, concrete blocks and fly ash bricks according to building drawing. Masonry work is done using a cement mortar mix. It is a mixture of cement and sand. As per drawing gaps are laid for doors and windows during the masonry work. The lintel is constructed on the door and window to support the masonry work over it. After this further masonry work is done. Then the framework is started to construct slab resting on the column and beam. It is done as per slab detail drawing. Door and window frames are fixed at specified position as in the drawing. Buildings are constructed with a clean finish in which electrical and plumbing work is not visible. They are installed in the walls and slabs such that they are concealed and not visible after the finishing work is done. The point and pipe end left out, such that later they can be finished with the electric fitting and plumbing fixtures. Once this work is completed, external plastering and finishing work is started. Waterproofing is also done to prevent rising dampness in the wall. External cladding can also be done to enhance the elevation of the house. On top of the slab, waterproofing is done to prevent any leakage in the slab. Generally, terrazzo tiling is done to prevent the slab from a weathering effect. 
Internal walls are plaster with smooth finish and flooring is done with tiles. Later on, the walls are painted or textured. The final stage in building construction is woodwork and fixture fittings. Following this step, almost construction work is completed and then after furniture work is started. Side by side, electrical fitting, switchboard, and plumbing fittings are complete in the bathrooms and kitchen areas too. The Japanese company Shimabun recently released an upgrade kit that can be used to outfit standard hard hats with a range of advanced safety capabilities. Hard hat can monitor location, motion, and temperature, enabling it to warn that a worker might be lightheaded or overheated. It can also perceive if a worker has fallen and trigger an emergency call to first responders. The exactness of the data collected also makes it possible to perform better assessments of worksite mistakes to better prevent repeat occurrences. 3D printing has now seen its application in construction industry too. 3D printing reduces the manpower and also reduces the time taken to build houses. With that we come to the end of today's video. Hope you liked it and also learned how a building is constructed. Kindly do support DRM Engineering and also do subscribe to the channel. We'll meet you soon in the next video.